My name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Downfall. Let's continue with the old Summon Song on uh, Ascension 2. Next three combats, enemies fleeing terror. Did I? Did I lose a run at some? Oh, yeah, I did at the end of the last episode so that I could unlock a, uh, a new set of cards. That's the price that I paid. I'm fine with paying that price. Um, we might be able to get an elite with this. I'm happy enough with that. Get the ruby key early on. Yeah, strength is very, very useful in this character. You can form a lot of multi-hits. There are a decent amount of multi-hits in the base, uh, base rotation. Hmm. So one thing that I've like realized in the last episode that I should start doing is start taking things with compile error. So this would give me a poison dealing card. Do it. It's really, 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 really good in some fights. Shell. Gain blur. I like it. I like it. There's also a wild beam here. Hmm. So I'm thinking. Bunch of one costs make a function, and then I can play it on that turn. Or do I want something like shell? Effectively, do I go wild beam or shell here? I'll take wild beam. Until I can actually confirm them. Oh, no, I can't take that fight, because then the merchant's going to run away. Okay, so I can't actually get an elite here. I was thinking that the the rest was going to be fine. Sticky shields I really want, but I also really, really, really want Cult of Strike here. So we'll go with the Cult of Strike. Ugh. Not great, right? Ever? Cult of Strike. Get him. It's a feature. Whenever you draw a curse or status card, gain a temporary strength and dex. Yeah? Yeah, I'm totally into that. Let's let's try and run a uh, a deck that's based around it. Replicate a wild beam. I could also go to getting the draw next turn set up as well. Spill is going to insert a slimes. We have a wound already in the draw. Honestly, it's probably just hit with those three and then pass. Hopefully, I do get back to my go to. Not replicate. Uh, go to. Sorry. Uh, not go to. I mean replicate, rather. Actually, you know what? I'm going to specifically force it to happen so that I can get the compile off on the culture strike. Or a calicum is neat. There's the sticky shield. Come back. There's also whenever you draw the first cur uh, curse or status each turn, exhaust it and draw a card. I love the idea of that and its feature, and then just putting a bunch of curses and statuses in my deck. The start of your turn, add a random card within code to your hand. It costs zero, but library is rare, and I want to play with the new toys. Ice cream. I just now. Yeah. Energy is now conserved between turns. Very, very happy to see it. I'm extremely underdefended at this point. That is more than fair to say, I think. It's the next thing I have to find a way to address. Probably means I rest at this upcoming campsite. I can Cult of Strike and then cut through, dropping both of those, because I'm literally just looking for the defends that are left in the deck at this point. And I'm hoping to get two of them. So deal three, six, three, total of 12. Not enough to take an enemy out. It does scry two cards, it scries two defends though. Hmm. 
Hmm. Well, as it turns out, that slime shield would have been a lot better had I managed to pick it up slightly earlier. Uh, oil spill, definitely. I'm gonna break the ruby and rest here. As many cards as there are in the deck that I want to upgrade, if I don't live through this fight, it doesn't matter how upgraded the cards are. So it's a feature only upgrades to become innate. So I'm playing it's a feature and a strike. I may not play another card. Just hold on to the extra energy with the ice cream. Seems reasonable. Use the blessing in the forge so that the library is a little bit more playable here as well. Oil beam and oil spill. I think ultimately taking three damage here over the one damage I would have otherwise taken so that I can get something like, you know, fortify off constantly is, is definitely going to be worth it. It's already kind of paid off for itself, really. Invoke. Woo! That is a good card to take into this fight. Very pleased to have it. That is to say, the it's a feature power that we have at the moment. Dueling Glove. After using a single target attack, if it has no vulnerable... Sorry, if the target has no vulnerable, apply one vulnerable. Love it. Repulsor versus Buggy Mess versus Turbo. I don't really use a bunch of energy in an individual turn. Is it now Repulsor? So that I can actually start siphoning some of these back out of the deck? I have a lot of powers if I do that. I feel like library shouldn't have been library. I should have just taken the repulsor there and then I would take buggy mess now. Take buggy mess now, I guess. Ooh. Love a good turn one kill. Blade strike while beam overheat. I... I can't just keep taking cards that aren't defensive. I need to get some more defensive cards in this deck before I can really continue this pattern. I should probably wait for library as well as for the uh, ice cream to go off as many times as possible. I really want to be oil spilling on this enemy though. Hope this draws the library. Hey, got him. Pop buggy mess up there. Getting the extra strength and decks off the back of that this turn. Deprecate is weak to all enemies, but I'm gonna gain weak myself. But that's only after it even compiles, so. It's not like it's the worst. Ten. Hmm. Not too far off the kill there. And don't have to worry about any specific card taking the kill here. Nice. Mercury Hourglass at the start of the turn. Deal three damage to all enemies. And invalidate, delayed guard, and overheat. I think all my vulnerability is already taken care of by the Dueler's Glove. Or at least as much of it as I would want is taken care of. It's 
Let's go with the buggy mess, I guess. Giving ourselves back enough damage to kill an individual target, as well as enough damage to kill the next. Well, I mean, unless we count the Mercury Hourglass that immediately triggers thereafter. Brew of Sharpness, gain 25 counter. There's an infinite loop. Ooh, deal six damage in code. Compile, add a copy of this into your hand and increase its damage by three. So this gives us the ability to continue like combo compile, uh, compiling. I'm honestly not entirely certain how it's going to work out, but I'd love to find out. It's a feature. We'll Go to and an infinite loop. Now we can start seeing. So I'll pop the poison on the enemy. We get an infinite loop back. Poison you again. I mean. Infinite loop comes back again. Oh, so its function is to be a version of replicate, I think, in a way. Encode, then add a copy of this into your discard pile. So what that's trying to achieve is the ability to allow you to continue encoding, even if you don't necessarily have enough encode cards to form another function. This one is also doing that, but it's doing it after in the compile step. And it's scaling. And obviously it comes back to your hand rather than discard pile. Me! Honestly, if we find the upgraded version of the bronze core here, that may be the one that we need to go for. Please. Oh, okay, good. I do have an oil spill in there. I can, I can compile all of this. Look at that damage output. I mean, yeah, we got a lot of damage cards in the deck, but... Damn. That's some serious business. Should we be looking at removing cards primarily? Even know. Bob Garage, add a wound to your hand, deals seven damage for each status card in hand. Also invoke. Yeah, that compile is not really gonna give us back much energy from the invoke. Cut through is not bad, obviously. Scry has synergy with the the statuses because you have the ability to just discard them, get rid of them, so you don't have to worry. How many wounds am I really putting in this deck? One, two, three, four. Four in a single cycle if I play all of them. This upgrades to give us an extra wound. I would really have to be benefiting from wounds to want to play this. Unless... Unless the deck gets very thick. And that's why it's okay. Never draw back to the draw cycle, so it doesn't matter. All right. Let's try it. I I have to try things like this because I've tried to avoid trying things like this. It doesn't. It's not good. Don't don't avoid them. Go play into them. Return. Gain additional energy and draw an extra card at the start of your next X turns. Gain an energy back after playing it. I do like that card. Although I do spot the possibility of getting a hyper beam right now. The problem with hyper beam is most of our matches are, you know, between one and three turns long, which makes hyper beam a, a rough value proposition. The fights in which it would be best, it won't end. And the fights it doesn't end, it's not useful in. There's also Backtrace here for just some solid opening damage. Function gains exhaust, but I'm not too sad about that. I would love to go Infinite Beams. If I hadn't already gone for a completely different kind of archetype, Infinite Beams would be my pick here. 
You know, you are mine is also not bad. Remove all enemy block. Apply three weak and vulnerable to all enemies. Exhaust. Upgrades to give five weak and five vulnerable to all enemies. Hey, that's Shockwave, isn't it? Shockwave's pretty good. I should definitely take at least one enemy out so I don't have to take so much damage. So 7 goes up to 10, 21. Okay, so that's the only way I can kill the backliner there. Sorry, the frontliner. The two hits wouldn't be able to get over the hump. I really need a pentagraph out of nowhere, please. Somehow just find a way to give me a pentagraph. Uh, oh gosh, Cultist Strike is not yet upgraded. Fine. I'll take two damage to upgrade Cultist Strike. Is that, did that actually even work? Because it compiled at the very end? I think it did. Yeah, it's 15. Repulsor. We finally found a Repulsor that we can actually take here. So we can iterate. Strength scaling-ish, I guess. Follow through. I mean, look. We do actually play our functions relatively consistently. Follow through would be useful. I'm going to take Repulsor. I have no clue how this fight is going to go. <laughs> just drawing my attention to it i imagine unbranded rage yeah this is the the roth version here hmm. I'm a bit dumbstruck on what to do kind of want to just go repulsor and cultist strike And so I will. I feel like we're also going to need to maintain the ability to play library. And yeah, buggy mask can go up there. That's totally okay. Give him a wee bit of the UR mine. Attack him one more time. We block all but three damage on this one. That sands of time in the back line is starting to make me nervous. I don't know how I generate enough block to be comfy after that. Maybe it requires library fishing a card for me. Gosh, I hope it doesn't require library fishing a card for me. Uh, should I oil spill right now? Maybe I actually need to not play library. Stack up on oil spills. Oil spills is slow. So is this deck. Guess I can play library now. Seventeen. That could be rough. Oh, null pointer. Hey, it's exactly what I wanted. Just a giant block number. Thank you. Unfortunately, the function is going to be unplayable that results out of this, but we'll deal with that when we have to deal with that. Oh, right. Poison. Oh, dear. Flail looks pretty good here. So does Infinite Loop after that, honestly, giving me the ability to try and combo off again. At the end of all of this, defend with a speed potion is enough to save me. I'd really like not to have to do it that way if I can avoid it, though. I 
Probably oil spill, actually. Gosh, I wish that was playable. Okay. Hmm. Oh, it really feels like we actually might make it through this fight at this rate. Perfect. We took a lot of risks that floor. The next function you create goes permanently into your deck instead of your hand. The upgrade on this changing it from three to zero cost, which makes sense as an upgrade to this kind of thing because it is fleeting. It purges after one play. So your upgrade is literally just making hardcore a lot easier to play for yourself. Um, what would I want? Like, I guess connect an oil spill and an oil spill and a uh, wild beam or an infinite loop or something like it's doesn't seem what i really want to do here uh put a card from your draw or discard into your hand at a dazed where it was hmm. it's also format encode x copies of fragment this is just really good like extremely good This is the ability to start defending ourselves. When we start scaling with uh, strength and dex at the same time as a result of it's a feature, this is scaling for, for both of those. Yeah, let's take format. That's interesting. Curse or status? Each status? Curse or status? And the repulsor as well? Let's do it. We'll take the cursed key and try and lean in. Oh, that's... That's... That's beautiful. I like that a lot. Um, <laughs> okay. There are... Two elite paths. Yikes. These paths kind of suck. Maximum of two merchants, two elites, and one rest, but the rest happens after everything else. Which doesn't feel good. I really don't want my first turn to be the it's a feature and repulsor having to go off both. Like, five and five, like... An extra amount of poison is good, and it's also worth noting, this card's a bit dangerous when you end up in a scenario where you put it into a function and then you cast it from the function in the same turn. So I can understand why they don't want to give it a giant amount of poison, but I can't see myself making this upgrade. Often, at least. Buggy Mess makes it zero cost, but if I'm putting it in with one costs anyway, it's not the way that I want to handle that. Infinite loop, I don't really play that that many times. I mean, format makes a lot of sense to me right now. Library to lower its cost. It's a feature. I actually kind of don't even want library in the deck at this point. I think format makes the most sense. Nope. Don't like this at all. It's a feature. You are mine, and... Stab him. Mm. Damage time for me. Oh, that looks bad. So this will give us five, which will actually give us two different things back. Sure. Play one of them there. Nah. I already got my... Yeah, I already got the right ones. See, format is very powerful. There's a reason I wanted to put it in the deck, and that is the reason. Digital Carnage. Uh, but it's up against Sticky Shield and Turbo, both of which I do want here. If I had more access to draw, I would probably take Turbo at this point, but without that, I want the Sticky Shield. 
I just need some big block cards. I can't rely on Aura Calcum providing all of my block for long at all. It's okay. I'll save some energy. This should give us a huge amount of flexibility if I use it correctly. Which, we'll see. You are mine. Definitely have to lead with that. I want to follow with double oil spill and then... Poison again, for sure. Of course that's what I want to do, because it's rad. Unfortunately, we actually killed the enemy. I wasn't thinking we were going to have the damage for it there. Oh, that's another cultist strike, though. It's up against a bronze orb. If I encoded something randomly, how sad would I be? I want to play the oil spills to encode them. Same with the wild beam. Because the benefit I'm getting is, like... From the play, largely. Mm, I don't know if I want that, but Cultist Strike. It's pre-upgraded. It really doesn't feel like I need it. I already have one. Add a copy of the first card in the current sequence to the next two sequences automatically. What card would I add? I don't want to add a copy of Cultist Strike because that's not going to scale the other Cultist Strikes. Oil Spill? Buggy Mess? I don't know about any of this. Like, that looks like a really good slew of cards. I just don't know if I can utilize them effectively right now. Uh, I also really, really desperately do not want to be losing HP before, before we start going down this path. Oh, come on. I may actually just skip this fight, like, smoke bomb straight out of it, because that is a lot of damage they are proposing to deal to me right now. So I could strike, and then this would be 12, so 7, 10, 10, 12 is 27, 39. Not enough to kill the backliner. Yeah, yeah, the, I, I seldom use smoke bombs, but if there was ever an instance for it, it's now. Defend, defend, infinite loop, wild beam. Now, 25 counter will happen every time... No, for the first time the enemy attacks me. So this is literally just 25 damage back to the enemy. This is 30 as well. I feel like I'm going to have to save the Molotov, probably, in case we get Gremlin Leader. Brew of Sharpness, I think I can use. There's the 21 incoming. Thankfully, we do have Format. Gain an extra energy. I think I'm going to have to use It's a Feature as well. Yeah. Two wounds already in there. I'm about to put a, another random status in. And then block for exactly 21. I, I feel like I'm... I feel like I'm getting it. This is exactly the point at which the game slaps me down for the hubris of having said such a thing. But I think... I think I'm getting it a little bit here. Okay. I mean... Should have done you on mine before the rest of them if I was going to. Ultimately not going to change the outcome here though. Cultist Strike is still in the deck. I guess I could theoretically draw into it right now. Didn't manage to. I'm going to kill the enemy. I don't want to take damage. 
Hair and Flail. Deal 7 damage to all enemies two times. Encode to compile to gain two artifacts. Two artifacts is pretty good. Gives us the ability to keep a strength and a dex as a result of it's a feature. Cut through is also pre-upgraded and has more access to scry. Giving us more control over our future deck. I do really like cut through. If I'm going to have as many statuses in the deck as I do. All right. Here's our first curse as well. It is shame. At the end of your turn, gain a frail. That's not that bad. I'm totally comfy with that. It's just what do I want to put in my opening? It's possible I don't even want to put any of those in my opening and I take this out. Buy a key. It's so possible I do it. 200 souls to become Cursed Haunted. I mean, I am about to go to a shop. So money matters. When drawn, add Ethereal to all of the cards in your hand. That'll actually give me the ability to burn statuses out of the deck. Yeah, let's do it. God, I really need draw. I'm putting a lot of dead draws in this deck and that is what's really going to come back to bite me later on. I can already see it in my mind's eye. I should have saved energy on that turn if I'm going to guess. Yeah, this feels like I should have saved energy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> As it turns out, we were accidentally correct. The best kind of correct. Also, at this point, I actually do need the upgrade on... It's a feature. That, that does need to become a nade at this point. Okay. Well... Give him all that oil. I mean, it looks like we're probably going to be able to get the kill on the merchant in the next area. Oh my gosh. And then we even get an end code on the Gulta Strike as a way to take us out here. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a kill against him in the next area. Another copy of format. I don't know if I know, want another copy of format here. It's good. It is good. What if I don't take format and then I get Chemical X in the store? That could happen in this store or the next store. Fine. Hmm. There's the overheaters we've seen before. Branch invoke. Shell infinite beams. Uh, Guardian Quirl. Now requires 10 or more block, but you still deal 4 damage to all enemies 4 times. Upgrades to 6 damage to all enemies 4 times. I can't believe, by the way, that when I had that run, the soul burn run, I didn't take Sadistic Nature. I apologize deeply and profusely. It's exactly the run that Sadistic Nature really would have been able to shine in. I really hope that I get an opportunity in the near future to show a run where Sadistic Nature shines, because it, it seems... So rad. Uh, I'll tell you what. I actually don't think I buy anything at all here. And this is because I am going to another... Oh, sorry. I was like, why is the icon for the shop a pair right now? Huh. Uh, that's because I am going to another shop. I'll have more money there as well, but there might be a bunch more things I want to buy there. And currently, like, Molten Egg doesn't really impress me. None of the rest of these really impress me for the way that we're trying to run. It's the format. Ideally, we should probably strike then format, then cast the one that comes back. No, 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 because the one that comes back is actually already going to be zero cost, so I can format, then strike, then do it. Yeah, that's the way we do it. Format. We'll... Yeah, because defend is only one. So, of course, I'm still doing it this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but if I'm playing clean as well, then I do have a defense. Okay, so hang on. This is 30 damage. It's 37 if I use the strike first. I should have struck first. Then used the 
encode, then defended, then used clean fragments. I would have ultimately managed to defend for 27. And I wouldn't have killed the target. But that's... I'm going to defend for 21 and not kill the target right now, so... <laughs> Feels like the other way would have been better. I don't know if I have three turns for Soulburn right now. <sighs> Yikes. I really, really didn't expect that the backline would be able to live through this turn. We don't even have the ability to encode enough. Just yikes. Right, weaken them all. Incoming damage is suddenly taken down to 17. Hard block through. Now I'm weak and vulnerable. Eh, at least everyone else is weak as well. Okay, you just cut through on the back line. And then format and attack the front. Just get rid of all of those. When is my next upgrade? Okay, it's relatively soon. As long as I don't take too much damage here, we'll be pretty comfy taking it too. Hmm. And we're all good. Oh, except I'm not going to be able to get that Cultist Strike actually upgraded here by encoding it. Rough. Okay. Dark Dash, 8 and 8. But if you encode it, you insert a void. Totally fine by that. Uh, hey, this does say gain 8 block and deal 8 damage. So it, it does, it, it's an example of the thing that I was talking about in terms of dash in the previous. However, it's the fragments that say deal and then gain. But they do gain it first, if I recall correctly from experimentation in the last episode. Uh, separator, deal 8, when encoded, if this is not in the first or the last, increase its damage by 8. I have so many other encode cards in the deck that I think that I can actually kind of nestle this in correctly. However, it's up against sentient form, the first time you create or draw a function each turn, increase all the numbers on it by 1. That seems good for the... Like, for, as, as far as format goes, it's one strength, one dex. That's what it's provided. Well, one strength, one... Yeah, because yeah, yeah, the it would be triplicated on either side because of the, the multi-hitting anyway. Yeah, so as far as format goes, it's one strength, one dex. We talked about this in a relatively recent episode. I've only done two episodes on this character. Wow. Uh, we talked about this relatively recently. Um, it's, it's good with gaining energy, because you increase that to two energy. It's good with giving the enemies weak or vulnerable or, or any of those kinds of things. It's good, it's good with drawing cards. Um, but I don't think it's good with what we're currently doing. I'm going to take the separator now that's offered as well as pre-upgraded. That's sticky shields. Do I put the buggy mess up there? I'm going to hold off. Who's playing buggy mess just gives me back the energy and then fills that slot right now. Whereas there was the possibility this turn I was going to draw separator and then I'd have the right position to put it into. I mean, you are mine. Just cast... the rest of that pretty easy. I feel like bosses are definitely going to be our downfall. No pun intended. 
Constructor. When encoded, if this is the first card, increase the block by seven. Love it. Now give me Terminator. I think I just go to town here. Probably kill the enemy next turn if we do it right. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it right. Thank you for the money. Come on, Chemex. Double spill. There's another constructor. So a piercing shot deals six damage to all enemies. We don't really have much AOE availability in this deck at the moment. I like the idea of the extra oil spill though still. Become kind of like a, a poison deck in some fights. Are there any fights where the poison is actually going to be preferable for us? Because we're still not that great at defense. Well, format is defensive. Constructor is defensive. Sticky shield, defensive. Obviously, we've got like a lot of cards in the deck that bloat the deck from our defensive things. Yeah, we're still not particularly defensive. I think I need to account for that first. Bottle Tornado. Interesting. Also another constructor there. Hey, Thunder Wave doesn't even look bad right now. Deal seven damage to random enemy for each function created this combat. Fights just don't go long enough for me to really benefit much from that. Bottled Tornado could try and put Library in the opening hand, but honestly, Bottled Tornado to me right now just reads as upgrade, it's a feature. It's a lot to pay for an upgrade. Draw three cards at the start of each turn, draw an additional card and insert a daze. This, this makes a lot of sense for us. And then putting that in the opening hand. Yes, that's what we do. Then we also put this in the opening hand by upgrading it. Choose one of three boss cards out of your hand. Zero cost of played. I, I have so many things that I need to upgrade. I have so many things in this deck that want to be upgraded that it's really, really hard for me to take extra things that really want to be upgraded. Do I really have so many things in this deck that want an upgrade? It's, it's a feature. You are mine. Both desperately want an upgrade. Become significantly more impactful. Max output, obviously, save an energy on the first turn. Typically quite good. We don't have that many things that desperately want an upgrade. I could probably take quick study, although I wouldn't be actually able to upgrade all of them. Different matter. Awaken here doesn't even look awful. Gain of strength if you would die, heal to 20, upgrades to 30. Or even just straight up removing a strike so that my, uh, my defensive situation is a, a little more consistent. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to take that as well. The the constructor. Spaghetti code? Is that anything for us? I don't think so. Daybreak Sapphire for 10 max HP. It's theoretically possible we could use that in the upcoming fight. Especially because this is drawing three cards. I really, really, really want to be able to utilize as much of my first turn as is possible. Separator is not the first encode you want. Okay. Let's cut through. I need to get to that defend if possible at all, and I can. And use separator and go to fishing out the sticky shields I was looking for. But perhaps what I was actually looking for was more damage. Get him. Not awful. Frankly, not awful. 
Get that back and then play it. Yeah, sure. I'll take that kill there. Would have been a ridiculous amount of damage otherwise. Refactor. Ooh. Scry 5. Exhaust all cards discarded. Gain 5 block for each status card exhausted. I mean, if there was ever a deck to try and see how that works, it's this one. It is this deck. Okay. Let's infinite loop our way into a... Separator, followed with a Cultist Strike getting that kill. Then tag an enemy just to make them vulnerable. Murdering them instantly thereafter. And so that I have the ability to get extra damage out on a future turn as well, we'll uh, use the infinite loop there. Nice. Doesn't matter how many statuses you put into your discard pile if you never draw into your discard pile. Although I do know that most of these statuses are getting inserted. That is to say they are going to the top of my deck. Not top of my deck. Randomly into the deck. Not, the, not necessarily the top. Let me clarify. Ah, okay. The defect here begins the fight with two bronze orb minions. Gains an artifact at the end of its turn if it did not already have artifacts. So it's an it, ancient construct. Yeah, it says so on the card. Well, there's its a feature. Which means we go oil spill format. Oil spill wide beam format. I have to kill these. Definitely. I can't have them take the... I guess the other format out of my deck. Library would be fine. I just don't want to have to fight multiple enemies at the same time. I'm not particularly good at it. So instead I'll instantly target you down. There is the other format. Well done. You got it. Ooh. Right, so I don't get 14 from the initial play of Constructor. Interesting. I... I... I wonder if there's anything special that happens if you get Constructor, the Separator, and then Terminator. The three that have a reason to try and be in sequence. I guess, like, you know, it's 14 block, 16 damage, play this again for one energy. That's really good. I wonder if it's just got, like, a unique name or something like that. Hopefully we find out at some point in the near future. Format and nothing here. Yep. Don't want the enemy to panic button and then be able to block on later turns. And also, it still does give us a fragment and an energy back. The enemy wasn't even planning on blocking this turn. I can make them lose two focus. I do like that. But I should probably use Constructor in this. Tried to make them vulnerable there. Uh, Sure, I'll draw those for the strength and decks they'll provide. Really, do I want to deal 8 damage right now for 1 energy? I think I'd rather save that energy and utilize it later. Hmm. 
Just throw you on mine, because the defender isn't really going to help me here. Oh, the enemy does have an orb. Okay, okay. So the enemy losing that frost did affect them. Sick. I'd like to know you have an impact. Max output is really helping here. Oh my god. This is going to scry zero cards. It's in the perfect position to be useless. I guess I can burn at least one there. I keep myself afloat. Replicate and then throw a coping child out there. Maybe build a mess or two. Even throw the defend out. I'm going to leave those slimes in the deck for an uh, optimistic future. Start with the base strike. I don't really feel like I'm threatened by this enemy anymore. So that all seems good to me. Refactor has two cards it could get. Refactor now has three cards it could get. It's gonna burn all of those and murder the enemy immediately thereafter. Yeah, okay. I have to approach deck building in a fundamentally different way when playing this character. Uh, trashing your second cycle is... <sighs> so you aren't trashing your second cycle, right? Because the things you're creating with the Kambal era... I talked about this in the last episode, but it, this is kind of like a, a clarified thought on it. Um, as you are compile erroring and you're getting your deck full of all of the trash, at the same time, your discard pile is now filled with good cards. Very very good cards in the functions and so long as you get back to and play those it's kind of fine that you've got your deck a little less dense than it previously was spaced out a little with the curses and statuses that you may be including as a result on a wave dead tools and uh sentient form it seems like dev tools is probably the one we're gonna want to go for Remove all compile errors from the cards in sequence. Create a function immediately out of the cards in sequence. Exhaust all cards from the sequence. Gain an energy and self for one each. And then return all cards from the sequence to hand. Uh, I just want to play around with that. And this one doesn't seem like it's relevant to us. And this one... I mean, we do create a lot of functions. How many cr functions do we create in that boss fight? You know what? Sure. Do I ever play more than six cards in a single turn? It's pretty hard to. So, like, max outpost... Uh, sorry, output, rather. Three cards to create a sequence. The sequence itself, we're already on five. And I've already got floating energy. Okay, yeah, so we can't take that. We can take the calling bell. Let's get another, another curse in the deck. If I was going to go for the Astro label, it would just be upgrade three strikes straight across the board. It's just a lot of cards that I don't want right now. Let's ring the bell. Protective goggles. If you end your turn with no cards in sequence, gain four block. Uh, start each boss combat with 25 more HP or rather heal 25 HP at the start of each boss, count, uh, boss combat and upgrade our max HP by 14. Eh, it's all fine. Nothing I'd write home about. There is a four elite path, and I am feeling quite spicy. Obviously start out with the It's a Feature there. Hmm. Okay. The thing that makes the most sense to me here would be format. 
have the clean fragment. Do I want to put an oil spill up there? Poison's not great in this circumstance, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could just scry through the next hand a little bit to cut through. Sure, I'll do that. Get rid of Haunted. Do I want to get rid of Haunted? Probably don't want to get rid of Haunted here. It's an extra strength and dex, and it's going in the hand that already has a... Uh, a format in it. A really good way of benefiting from the strength and dex. Nice. Hmm. I think it's just big format and then throw it. Sometimes the simplest play is the correct one. The most obvious one is the correct one. I really thought I was going to be defending more there. And said we are managing to spread our damage out relatively evenly. Feeling okay about that. Buggy mess and oil spill to get it right back. Even start with the constructor and then. Oh. Thank you to the hourglass for really showing its teeth here. As sarcastic as that sounds, I'm being, I, I promise I'm not. Just do appreciate it. It's a very, very good relic, and it can go uh, under underappreciated a lot of the time. Apply two vulnerable to all enemies. No, again, that's not the thing we need. Wild Beam, not awful, but also we're, we're done. I can't just click everything that says put a status in the deck. Definitely got to go for these, though. Let's make it a feature, and then... Oh, I was really hoping to try and get through to something that the buggy mess could be a part of. Do that there, and then we can go... Constructor, Cutting Mess, don't need Repulsor, don't need Defend, don't need Oil Spill, those are a bit slow for us. Throwing the extra constructor now. Yep. Really don't like the attrition of taking eight damage every so often. It's unsustainable. It's build sadness that we can actually throw out here for all of the block that we need. I say all of the block that we need. It's significantly less than all of the block that we need. Thank you to the protective goggles for coming in clutch there, saying look closely. The uh, labor text on that one. Three times? That's not going to be enough. Oh, yikes. All right, what do you got, the Colors Potion? Apotheosis. Flash of Steel's good enough, though. Makes that enemy vulnerable, and then I have the ability to kill it. Whew. Just could not abide two of them being on the field for another turn. Let's go Cultist into Separator, and then we'll use Refactor to get rid of just a whole mess of cards out of there. We can already see the difficulty we're having in this fight. A different set of draws, and I would have already lost 15, 15, sorry, 50 health. Start of each combat, discard any number of cards, and then draw that many. It's going to be extremely valuable for helping us set up correctly. Hmm. Let's put 
that in the drawer, and then I guess I'm looking for it right now. Didn't find it. Max output, and then we get replicate, I guess, maybe? Ooh! Replicate format gives us back the energy, so we can play buggy mess, which gives us build copy back, so we can actually kill a target. What the... Oh, no. We do defend. For some reason, I thought that was two damage modifiers I'd already put on it. <laughs> Format just creates two functions automatically for the Thunder Wave there. This is probably the direction I want to go. Deal 24 damage, get 24 block. It's a good deal. Especially with the spikers, it's going to be a really good deal. I'll even start burning out some slimes. Merge conflict. Also bronze armor. I mean, I don't really... No, I do make my enemies vulnerable. I attack them, right? So, yeah, I... I don't want them to have artifacts. Encode a copy of it, though? No, again, I think the previous utilization of that to copy expensive cards is the one I'm going to be banking on for a little bit here. Glowing Tesseract in here. I am pretty worried because here I have an upgrade I still want, so if I want to go for Elites... In fact, if I go for this first one, I at least have to go for three. There's no non-three option following that point. There's a four and a three. I find it really, really difficult to justify taking damage optionally right now. Chrono Boost Awaken you on mine. I mean, I like Chrono Boost, but unless I get it out on turn one or turn two. Not really. Because I don't play that many cards in a turn in the second cycle. Okay, we'll avoid all of those. Jump inside, losing no. So I'm losing 14 max HP to go down to 95. So I'm getting four health back from that. At the cost of health I want to get next for as well. Oh, Mummified Hand, great pickup. The normality there, awful curse. Thank you for not giving normality here. I like the idea of getting the infinite loot back. Sixteen block eight and twelve damage. Kill you. Let's start some poison. Really good opening hand. Hmm. Also strike and then try and uh oh. Holy claw! It's not any defense in that one. Um. Excuse me. Where do you keep the defense? Is it literally just the two defense? I just have to play those. Oh, that really hurts. Just very literally hurts. Replicate UR mine and sticky shield. Can't really see anything else for it. Yeah, the defense is really, really lackluster. Um, okay, if I use Separator, and then get it back and then use it again, I can throw a Constructor up there. Not really be too sad about the normality. Well, there's the Bug Barrage. 
suddenly really baring its teeth. Let's go for normal damage again. If I can get myself well defended enough at the end of that, another format will get the kill. I mean, we have no other damage cards in the deck, so it is just another format gets that kill. Which we found. <laughs> All right, we did get six turns into that fight, one of our longest fights so far. I don't know if clean code needs to be in here. Powers are an energy bump for us at the moment, especially zero cost powers. We do sometimes overblock. So shell is not not too bad. It would help even out our overblocking and underblocking turns. Sure, that's got me salt. I'm going to the rest shop. I'm not going to be removing normality yet. I feel a little about this, but I think ultimately it could be correct. Um, honestly, I could put Repulsor in the opening hand now, now that we have three powers in the opening hand and they each reduce the cost of something. Repulsor is going to have its cost reduced pretty effectively. Nice. That with a shell in as well. Oh, man. What a dream. In format, getting two cards back as well. One of them gives us the blur. The other one does damage and blocks. So I get to have... Huh? Huh? Hang on. Why is the enemy not vulnerable? Excuse me? Duelist gloves? After using a single target attack. Yeah. These both only target a single target. If they have no vulnerable, apply one vulnerable. You didn't have any vulnerable. I'm keeping my eye on you, nemesis. Hey, there it is. It's working again. Format, I guess. If nothing else, just so that I get more defense for it's this turn. Ooh, infinite loop into Thunder Wave. So we get nine more block from the clean copy. Okay, Thunder Wave is really pulling damage right now. I mean, nine block is the maximum amount of block I can really even get here, so sure. We even get to hold one more of one more turn. Let's go construct a go to Boggy Mass. I think I've got a refactor just... Oh, no, I don't. I leave damage in there for the bug barrage. So that's what bug barrage is good for. In the first cycle, saving you from all the statuses you put your own deck in. Blue Candle on playable Curse Cards can be played. Whenever you play a Curse, lose one HP and exhaust it. So if I get the normality before any draws take place, that's all good for me. Um, I'm going to remove the Soul Burn and get a free Power Potion because those are just really, really, really good. Refactor again. Up against Bug Barrage. Refactor so that we can try and thin down the deck in the deck in, uh, second cycle so that we're just playing out a bunch of very powerful function cards. 
<laughs> Hello, normality. I probably don't need to worry even about drawing back into you, so sayonara, normality. None of those are status cards. Just gonna make this a little bit frustrating. I mean, six block is what's naturally gonna happen at the end of the turn anyway. There you go. Nine damage to no one. Okay, we have Pantograph. Open up with the Cultist Strike and then Separator. This infinite loop as well. So 9, sorry, 29, 9, 38, 15 is 43, 53. I'll target down. And then if I put nothing else up here, I already have the kill on the Darkling. Oh, sorry, I don't already have the kill on the Darkling. I already have a uh, full block against the Darkling. Sure. The second part of the full block provided by the protective goggles. Apparently, they do something. It's fine. Replicate, separate, and then deprecate, and then finish them off. No need for any of those here, I think. Do you like oil spill? You are mine's really good too. I should play those just in case. Oh, that's the worst. I had to play them just in case we drew into the normality, but then separator is exactly the reason that I wouldn't have wanted to do that. Oh, but if I had drawn into normality, it already would have burned because I just had, uh, because I had Repulsor already out. Okay, so yeah, it was just incorrect to do it the way I did. It wasn't a balancing of two different factors. It was just not good. I mean, if it's all ethereal, don't need to burn it out personally. And the wave hits three times now, so... It's more than well enough for me. Maybe I should have held off on the strike just for an extra energy in the next turn. Yeah, almost certainly, in fact. Okay, let's go buggy mess. Oil spill on the back line. Then this gives us another card in the draw pile. I'm literally just trying to set up a refactor right now so that I can actually block. Okay, so it's refactor time. Cultist Strike is in there as well. That'll do it. Letter opener as well as a dex potion. Ship it. Deals five damage, deals two additional damage for all of your status cards. That is exactly the kind of card that I wanted to get in this deck. Uh, yeah, okay, we'll drink that potion now. I'll find a merchant next floor. Because where else am I going to find the most useful relic in the game? The Darkstone Perry app that I'm literally not capable of utilizing in any way, shape, and or form anymore. Ooh, shells up there as well. Okay. Repulsor, shell. Let's throw. Oh, no way. This, this was still one cost, so it doesn't matter that I didn't make a zero cost. 
And then we defend. Infinite loot bringing it back immediately. We can get even more blur. As well as another wild beam and another infinite loop. I really like infinite loop. I'm finding uh, I'm, I'm finding my way into it. I'm finding the use. Hmm. Just insert another random status there. Forty-two damage. I think that's good enough. We don't have giant new turns. We just have very, very consistently good damage. Let's go oil spill, sticky shield, and then ship it. No, oh, no, that was destructive. Was supposed to go out as well. This one just kind of seems obvious. Ooh. Good hits, but now without any blur remaining. I'm suddenly pretty worried about the upcoming couple turns. Let's start with a cut through. Can't change the refactor there. For some reason I thought I was either going to manage to... Or rather, for some reason I thought I was going to be able to match that, definitely. That's a second it's a feature going in an opening hand. Yes, 100%. Pre-upgraded as well. That refact is really good right now because it just gives me the option to choose what I draw. Format's a pretty good draw. So will shame be in just a second. Then we put the Constructor first into the next one, and 33 damage, 10 damage, as well as another 10 damage, it's 53. Just gonna casually kill the backliner immediately there. Functions are just real powerful. Uh, gosh, how? I was about to ask how much am I even capable of defending myself this turn? Just enough is the answer. Liquid memories. Bring back the right card at the right time, especially when that card is a function. It's probably worth more than machine oil to us. Machine oil isn't particularly good for us. Well, there's a fine tuning that would uh, perform the same thing as the potion prior, and I'm fine, thank you. The silent. You have poison resistance. Sorry. Hey, refactor again. Oh, I've got to read it on my side. Poison triggers at the end of your turn. At the end of your turn, spend all remaining energy to remove 10 poison per energy. Oh, God, that's a hell of an opening turn. And you have Twisted Funnel and Sneko Skull. You have poison resistance to... Oh, right. So the poison resistance... Is... This is literally just telling me to go and head and read the uh, poison resistance on my own. Got it. Really? That was literally the next card? 
cool. At the end of your turn, spend all remaining energy to remove 10 poison per energy spent. So does that just kill ice cream constantly? Aww. I wanted to use that. God, I really want to draw some cards right now. Game, please. I don't really have that much I can do. There you go, remove all the poison. Go the constructor with a shell. Do I put another constructor in that? Yeah, that makes sense. Ooh, we're double bursting a, a dodge and roll and another dodge and roll. Damn, I want to be this silent. I want to have this run. Absolutely popping off the top of the esophagus. Rocking this metropolis. Not a large water dwelling mammal. Where'd you get that preposterous hypothesis? Did Steve tell you that? Good chance. All right, have some poison back then. See how you like it. I'm also building a giant block wall as well. We're not so different, you and I. Bug Barrage became a lot worse when I got the... Uh, the... Da, 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 what was it called again? I'm going to remember these eventually. Today's not that day. Repulsor. When I got Repulsor set up. Oh god, the enemy's going to try and catalyze here too. Let's go to... Wait a second now. Format might want to change the way I play. No, because I want to make sure that I have at least one energy left at the end of the turn. I don't want to play format and then not play the card it generates. You are mine's really good here. And then I immediately drew and can't play it. I forgot that the compile effect of go to is draw a card. But it was already out of the clear there. Whew. I guess I just replicate and pass. Rid of a lot of unplayable cards there, but we also removed all of our own poison. Okay, ship it. Ship it's now good. Thank you, ship it. It's all I required of you. I definitely can't use format at that point. Too much poison on me. I mean, build shell is right there. Just do you are mine, build shell. Format, play the format. Fine. Does result in us taking a pretty significant amount of damage there, but hopefully we can manage to be okay. Good lord, that burst though. Uh, sure, I guess I'm going to get rid of those cards and then just not play the rest of the turn so I can get rid of the uh, poison that was currently on me there. Start of your turn, lose 30 HP in the room. Okay. Right, and poison resistance. No, no, no. So it, it, it doesn't want to override the poison text, but poison resistance is effectively a modifier to that. Got it. 
I don't like that every turn I have to lock myself out of three energy so that the, the silent doesn't just definitely win right now. I don't know what to do about it. Because it's not... Hmm. I thought I just tested earlier on in this fight. I, I didn't announce it at the time, though. But uh, th the poison goes against my HP, not my block, right? Because if it goes against my block, then there are different ways to play around it. It's totally fine. But if it goes against my HP, and every turn the enemy is generating 30 block, right, it's like 30, 10, 30, 10, I guess. It just feels like I'm being locked out of a lot of energy. And by a lot, I mean almost all of my energy. No, it definitely goes against HP. Well. I have to get rid of 26 this turn, which means I can cast a total of one card. So I guess I'm going to preemptively get some block for the next turn. I have to throw that damage. 9, 9, 27, 18, 27, it's literally just 5 by 7 is 45. I think there need to be more da uh, damage in my draw to justify the move that I want to make right now. I'll go that way. I'll, I'll, I'll do the half step. Draw a card and deal the damage there. Uh, refactor not necessary. Open child would be nice. Or early mess would both be nice. Alright. We'll get him. Whew. We made it through. I mean, all of their damage is in the poison, right? They're not actually dealing any individual damage themselves. So it is the only thing you have to worry about. I want to fight that fight a couple more times. I want to... I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a lay of the land. Maybe do it with a couple different deck archetypes and stuff like that. I wouldn't be surprised to be knocked out in this fight. Guy is quite strong. Haha, <laughs> did it again. Uh, yeah, I'm happy for all of those to be drawn. And in fact, all of those who then immediately be cast. And again. Love it. I even get to keep the extra energy I generated. <gasps> Construct a separator, infinite loop. It's getting there, it's just not there yet. Sure. Play a format and hold the extra energy for a turn. Thunder Wave isn't really going to be what we want here. Uh, okay, refactor, please. Fine statuses. That's A status. Enemy's got, what, 40 damage coming out right now? You are mine isn't even gonna get past the enemy's artifact here. Okay, let's shell, bring that back. Use a constructor. Ooh. 
Infinite sadness. Why does infinite... Infinite sadness never counts. The... I think it's cards that have infinite loop in them. Just... They don't count for the sake of the, uh, the dueling glove for some reason. I was really hoping I would be able to remove enough that now I could play You Are Mine with a clean conscience, but I can't really. Okay. This one has to just be a giant format, right? Makes by far the most sense to me. Especially in the face of that incoming damage. Mm. Yikes. There's a bomb going off this turn and I really don't want to take a whole bomb's worth of damage. So I'm going to pull out of my discard pile the most defensive card I have access to. Uh, which at this point is Clean Fragment. So I still get to take 8 damage. Despite the fact that I had like 13 decks when I cast that. Ooh. The bombs are very large. Yeah, Bob Barrage really isn't good in this position anymore. Rest in peace. Please have the Chemex I've been asking for this entire time. I mean, I do like... I do like block next turn. That helps me cover some of our gaps. I'm actually going to take it. Six point brand. When we play six cards, deal six damage to random enemy. Membership. I mean... Yeah, the membership card's worth it at this point. Yeah. Same as HP, combat, draw three cards. I mean, that's good. Uh... Remove another strike from the deck. Not even normalities. Yeah, I know. I know. Gaining artifact is only good if it gives us multiple artifacts, because, like, that's one point of strength. It's not really that much. Follow through is really good here, because it gets strength and dex increases. So in the second cycle, as long as I have a function and a follow through in a hand, I'm fine. That's more than enough. Let's also take a strength potion. And now we have to decide what to actually upgrade. Ship it. Yeah. It's reasonable. As the fight gets longer, it's gonna be even more reasonable. Library, I just need to I just need to play library when I draw it. That's that's as far as that one needs to go. Uh you are mine would make more sense if it wasn't for the fact that these are three different bosses that we're gonna have to fight in just a second. It, it'll make sense for the Meow fight thereafter, at least. Thunder Wave? Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Thunder Wave. Fights are going to go long enough. I think I'm going to make enough uh, functions for that to be useful. I'm just leave Haunted in this hand. Maybe I should have just left Haunted in that hand. I now lose max output and Repulsor. Because Icky was playable. 
So I played it because I was like, oh, this is fine. And then obviously it drew the three cards. That's awful. That's tragic. And that is going to cost us dearly. All right. Well, there's nothing I can do about it right now. All I can do is continue continuing. Let's go for shell and then format the heck out of it. Just got to develop a good enough deck that it doesn't matter that I uh, screw that up. Format and clean fragment because Haunted is already killing the other two cards. So even if they got their cost increase, it really doesn't matter to me much. And also, not great cards. Mm. Alright, buggy mess. Time for you to shine. Sure. And then start hoarding some extra energy as well. Okay, the first boss is going to be fine. Good. So it should be. Alright. Come at me. Ah, yes, the defect. How many res are they even to take at this point? I mean, library and infinite loop. Library now. Right. I keep mistaking the numbers. Like, I, I read this as deal 10 damage, deal 10 damage, game for block. So I keep getting confused by what actually happened when I played something. Yeah, there's our library. And our favorite follow through as well. Ultra Strike Delayed Guard seems reasonable. Naturally. Play that and then double up with the follow through, getting the library back. Do I even want to insert an infinite? Yeah, I, I do, I do. And literally just so that the panic button doesn't have the debuff blocked. Ooh, backtrace. Yeah, oils. Like, I'm, I'm going to be scaling. From enough other things, I don't think I need the oil spill. Really contributing constantly. So we can totally exhaust that. I kind of want to burn two slimes here. Do I? No, there's not even that many statuses in the deck. Our next cycle is going to be kind of clean. Probably shouldn't have played the strike there at the absolute least. Hold out for something a little more powerful. Boost. Nice. And because it's zero cost, the function made with it is going to be still pretty good. Or rather, pretty well costed. Mm. And the enemy's not attacking. I do want the infinite loop to keep in the cycle, though. I'll get rid of shame. I don't need to continue frailty. Seems like that's going to be a little bit of a problem. Null pointer. Make it unplayable. That's actually kind of fine. I don't care about getting one that has replicate. 
Well, Constructor has to still go out first. Burn the double slime. Mm. No. If it was days, sorry, if it was uh, wounds and I had a med kit, I would have actually removed it. But I can't do that here. I'm going to hover over that as well so that stops doing it. Don't you hover? Cool. Um, but the fact that it costs energy was actually the kind of clinching factor there for me not doing it. One weak to all enemies. I don't need to make this enemy weak at all. But I do want to get my function back. Yeah, I can make a function with a card I get next turn. That's fine. Early access. Oh, Lord. All right. All right, that's how we do now, I think. I don't know what we're going to create with that and try and use. Just inserts random statuses on its uh, cast as well. So we are now going to end up with a pretty ridiculous amount of them, even if we ha had prior. It does good damage. Cannot deny that it does good damage. No poison for me on that one, though. Thank you. There's a lot of statuses in the draw pile right now. Ah, never mind. There's also a Thunder Wave and a Beta Build, but don't worry about that. Nice. <laughs> oh, what is this deck and why is it working? Okay. So the enemy... Uh, ooh, you are mine on turn one. I'll happily do that, of course. Uh, whenever I play a card, heals for two life at the end of the round. If they're below 50 percent HP. Wait a second. They gain six strength. Can only trigger once per combat. I was about to say, that can trigger multiple times. Literally the next line address that. Now gains two artifacts at the start of a turn if she has no artifact, which is why you are mine has to go off on this turn. Now yeah, applies 10 poison to you per turn. You have poison resistance. So I just have to lock myself out of one energy every turn. I'm fine. So good done. Ooh. Three castable cards for a single function on turn one. Baby. I definitely don't mind if I do in this scenario. Also, strike would be good to put into the thing next turn as well. Yeah, sure, let's do it all. Well, forgot that I was drawing a card there. Why did I draw a card? What I put in you to make me draw a card? Constructor. It wasn't go to in the middle one. Oh, was the cut through is also compile draw a card. I can't believe I forgot that. I need to be looking up here for the compile effects more consistently. I do think I need to get rid of Bewildered. Do I really? Well, three costs, a three cost and a two cost. It wasn't the best model I've ever had. This two should still be fine to burn, though. Sure, clean fragment. Immediately take 10 poison because I forgot and therefore draw into the cards that I was trying to leave for the next turn. I, I recognize I am being a little inattentive at the moment. Hmm. 
I'm trying to... I'm trying to not to. Let's go. Replicate into clean fragment, but I can use delayed guard separator prior to that. The enemy is so vulnerable that I'm not removing any of the artifact anymore. Let's throw another cane fragment there. I'm also going to fish out a power. Sentient form. Just slam it. And get rid of the rest of our poison. Okay, Thunder Wave is not going to be removed from the deck. Good. Desperately need that not to be removed. So that's totally fine by me. Probably should have played ship at first if I really wanted all the extra damage. Nine hit three times. 60 damage. Yeah, 60 damage is pretty good. 23 is also reasonable. Probably not an amount that should have made me accept taking damage there, though. Now, I accept the damage here because I just got four blur for it. As well as a giant amount of defense that I desperately needed. afford to only get rid of 20 of the poison this turn? I think I have to. So that I can guarantee myself some block next turn. Good delayed sadness. Wild Beam, and I can even cast that if I wanted to. Probably don't want to, but I could. Yeah. Ah, uh, I shouldn't have even cast that final card. I'm just dying to the poison now. Yikes! At that incoming damage, though. Uh... How do I... So I have no strength, no real strength or dex this turn, really. Uh, the 24 incoming is... Well, okay, I've got 64... Uh, sorry, 67 block already on me. So... I can't make the enemy vulnerable for some reason? On previous turns, I didn't even think it was removing the artifact. Okay, it's now removing the artifact. That is to say, literally last turn. Turn four as well. Um. I feel like I have to play that for the damage. I'll take a bunch back, but... 18 is not going to be enough to save me here. Let's give him a quick iteration or two. Oh, good lord. I really felt under thumb the entire time. It's definitely a more challenging last section. The, uh, the boss rework is to be commended. Oh, I'm gonna have some difficulty navigating that, I imagine, but, uh... I know that I am going to have to navigate it with intent. It's previously a lot of the time I could kind of get there, and by the time I got there, I realized, alright, I got the kill, everything's fine. No longer. 
Now it's very much like planned for the heart from the start kind of situation. All right, we've got three different relics unlocked. The first is functions. Sorry, uh, electromagnetic coil. Functions are now made up of four cards. As I said, the reason separator didn't say middle card is because there might have been a relic that gives you the ability to put four cards in. That's your electromagnetic coil. Uh, all functions you compile gain retain is the timepiece. And then mallet, at the start of each combat, add two copies of fine tuning plus to your hand. Ooh, that's something, especially if you get like buggy mess as well as go to in the same function. Suddenly two fine tunings on that says, you know, draw two, uh, sorry, draw three upgrades to four for the go to. Uh, cards also gain energy and it gets to be used multiple times. That's. That's exciting. We will have to see if we have to get any of those or happen to get any of those and be excited by them in the next episode. But for the moment, my name is Vin Rhapsody. The name of the game has been slayed this by a downfall. You can see playlists in the description down below with all of my content on this game, past, present, and future, as well as the Steam Workshop page and the Discord for the mod itself. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.